Hey everybody, welcome to Katie Did Rocks. It is the end of February and it's quite warm outside even though it's very windy and we're gonna go see if we can find some rocks. Come along. I just ran into a couple of fellows who just were coming back as I was coming in and they crossed over here so I'm just gonna follow their footsteps. Might get my feet a little bit damp but uh, looks like the best way to go anyway. What a beautiful day. You know, it really doesn't matter what the season is. The Yellowstone River is so beautiful. I love the colors. I just love the Yellowstone, that's all. The wind is 17 or 18 miles an hour. I'm hoping this microphone that I'm using will block the wind out. Tomorrow is going to be 24, so I figured if I was going to get out, this was going to be the time. Just a nice piece of petrified wood. I like these pieces of petrified wood that have like a curve in them so they show they show the direction the tree grew or the branch or whatever it was. They feel nice in your hand too. One kind of cool thing about coming out at this time of the year is that even though this has been picked over all summer long, uh, some of the stuff that was really dirty might have gotten washed off. So we might be able to find something somebody, other people missed. Like maybe this. <laughs> First agate of the day, and it's a beauty. Wow, look at that. This was the first one I found, and I think the best one. It's so pretty. Look at those. Look at those dendrites. Seems like I always find some decent petrified wood in this area. I like this one because of the shape. Ooh, it looks like it's got some agate in there too. Wow, that's a pretty one. I wonder if that's agate or if it's calcite. It's kind of a funny color for agate. I guess we'll find out. This is a piece of quartzite, which I won't call home because I just wanted to show you the pretty, pretty pink glow. And then as I knelt down to look at it, <laughs> I think they found an agate right underneath my knees. Ooh, look at that one. It's got fortifications in it. Cool. We haven't had much of a winter this winter. We've had enough ice, I guess, that it can throw itself up onto the shore and dig trenches in the gravel, so that's something. This one looks interesting. It's either something or nothing. Oh, I think it might be nothing. It's a wannabe. It's a wannabe agate. Some people wonder why I go rock hunting in the winter, but to be honest, I'd rather be outside than anywhere else, even if it is a little chilly been picking up quite a few little ones that I'll show you up close when I get home but I like this one so much that I wanted to go ahead and film it look at the stripes on this thing isn't it just pretty and of course I'm gonna pick up this one this was about three feet away from that other one and look at this look at the botryoidals and the inclusions in this thing I just really really like the shape of this 
Agates are just so cool. Even though that first one might have been the best one, I think this one is my favorite. Just because it's so unusual with the botryoidals and the inclusions right there on top of or inside of the bots. Isn't that pretty? Here's another little agate. Oh, look at that. Look at that quartz pocket in the middle of that. And the, and the fortifications. Small but mighty. I think this one could be an agate, but it looks so very, very dark. Let's take a look and see. Yeah, no, this is totally an agate. It just was kind of, the, the light was blocked by being in the gravel. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, that's nice. Here's another little one. I'm picking up quite a few small ones because I need to replenish my tumbling supplies. Oh look, it's got flat on the bottom. Huh, that's usually a water line. And one more for the road. That's a pretty little one. My new microphone's battery died, so if it looks like a Godzilla movie, that's why. I, uh, I'm ending up a little bit faster than I usually do because I'm not feeling well still but I brought a whole bunch of stuff for you to look at. This is a pretty cool piece of petrified wood. Bet that will be just beautiful tumbled. This is a pretty banded jasper. I picked this up because it was kind of glowy, but it sure seems like it's got quite a lot of other stuff in it. See, on this side, it's got some red. So maybe it's a jazz bagot or something of the kind. Definitely not a good old clear Montana agate anyway. This one has some of the matrix on it. This is a really pretty piece of banded shirt. Another very cool piece of jasper. This one got all mixed up. This one looks like it has, it's mostly quartz, and it has a little tiny bit of agate wrapped around the outside of it. One of the reasons I love jaspers is because they're all so varied. This one is mixed, so it's got the, the red and the kind of cream color all mixed together. Thanks for coming along. Keep on doing.